Hi everybody, this is Catfriend, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you what are the best settings for gaming on an LG C1. Some settings that you will probably, um, you can probably use it on other uh, money, uh, TV like the Sony uh, OLED one and other on the market. So let's start with some settings on the LG. Um, the first thing that I want to show you guys is go to settings all settings now you're seeing the game optimizer it really depends uh, if it's activated or not but you need to go to the support OLED care OLED panel uh, sorry dev device self scare and energy saving over here make sure that energy saving step is at off this one is a kind of like a pain in the ass by default it will be at auto so it will uh, really depend on where you're living like do you have some light and stuff and your lg will adapt the lighting of the monitor to save energy about this but you don't want to use that you want something consistent and really important to turn this one at off another thing that is uh, important go to your ohm after that go to your ohm dashboard here so I'm just going to back here to show you what normally you see. So this is your own dashboard. Click on the three dot. Go to edit. Edit inputs. And this is pretty much your four input in your TV. Um, when you plug a console or your PC, you want to switch the logo over here. So click on the logo and make sure that you use the PC logo as you can see here. So you're gonna make sure that you're gonna use the 444 uh, color. So you don't want to use the compressed one, the 422. Uh, so super important to activate this. And you have a couple of other tweaks that will help you. It's not a huge deal, but it's something that will help you. So even if you plug an Xbox Series X and PS5, make sure this one is set at PC. And after that, you just have to press save. Now we will go back in the settings. Um, just before doing that, I'm just going to make sure I'm going to go back to my HDMI 4 to make sure that I'm currently on my Xbox. Perfect. So click on settings, all settings. So one more thing that you need to change, it's in general, all those AI service, make sure that everything is at off. So AI picture pro brightness setting, all those option here. Really important. Honestly, on any TV, you don't want to use any post-processing. You can use some if you want to watch a movie or something like that. But, but for gaming, you really want the raw input, the raw image without any post-processing. So let's start with the picture. So now the first thing that you want to make sure it's your mode. Make sure that you're using the game optimizer. After all this change that I will show you, you will see the word user here. It's because I have like a special profile because I modify a little bit the game optimizer. But this is the first thing that you need to do. It's going to remove a lot of stuff. You're going to make sure that you have the lowest uh, input lag. So super important to use that. So let's click advanced now. I'm going to start with the first one, the brightness. Brightness, you have the OLED pixel brightness. Um, this one will not impact your image quality or your input lag or whatever. It's more a question of preference. Me, I'm using 65. You can go uh, until like 100. Really depend like where you are in your house. Do you need more light? Do you have like some spotlight going on your TV and you need more brightness because of that? It really depend on you. For the contrast, I really recommend 85. And for the screen brightness, I recommend 50. For the gamma here, I recommend 2.2. It's a good middle ground that you can use. By default, it will be, I think, BT1886. Uh, so make sure that you're using the 2.2. You can't use the auto black level. It's pretty good on this TV, so no problem to use that. And your motion eye care, make sure this one is at off. After that, we're going to go to color. So color depth, I recommend to use 55. Tint, you can use 0. After that, this is pretty much my setting for white balance. If you want to see, I didn't touch anything except the color temperature. This one is it's a bit of like a question of preference. I know a lot of people like warms um, temperature, so they are going at 40 or 50. Me, I'm playing at 10. Uh, when you go up, your um, your it will be more cold, so mo more like a blueish uh, image. And when you go uh, I air uh, down, sorry, it will be more warm, so uh, like a yellowish um, screen. So for me, 10 is good, but because if you go too cold, I feel like I'm getting some headache when I play with that. So uh, it's really question of the preference. Just test it in whatever game that you want, and select whatever you, that you need. 
So let's go back now, the clarity option. So clarity option, the first thing here, everything is at off because of the game optimizer. As you can see, it's gray out. So that's really cool. So the game optimizer just remove all those post-processing stuff. I recommend also just to removing it when you uh, watch a movie or TV shows and stuff like that. But you can adjust the sharpness. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like the sharp sharpness normally, so they just put that zero. Me, I kind of like the sharpness. I always add a little bit of sharpness on my PC. Uh, I feel like uh, it, it's a little bit better to see enemy when I play a first person shooter or something like that. So that's why I'm putting four here. But again, question of preference. So this is pretty much it. After that, make sure that your filmmaker mode is at off and your reduce blue light is at off. So now we're going to press again the setting button. So this is when you have your game optimizer. You have like a special menu here. So we're going to click here in game optimizer. We're going to have all those different options coming from the software. So the first one is the picture one. So as you can see, uh, you can select a game genre and if you want. So you have a couple of one. I didn't test the role playing or the real time strategy. I did some test the first person shooter and it was pretty good, honestly. So I'm really surprised. But it's more like a preset because you can already change your black stabilizer and your white stabilizer here. So those one will be modified depending on the jar. But you can stay at standard and just modify by yourself to make sure that you have the proper one for, for your game. So this is pretty much it. After that, reduce blue light. You don't want to use that. So put this one at off. Prevent and put uh, delay. This one I recommend to put at put the, the, the select the boost one. By default, it will be standard. So a nice optimization that you can do here for your input delay. Uh, after that, game dashboard. This is pretty much the game dashboard that we saw. I recommend to activate the VRR and G-Sync and the AMD Premium Free Sync. Uh, you will see by default, uh, the when you activate both, the Xbox Series X will uh, select the AMD Free Sync. Uh, before, I was telling some people to just use the VR one uh, because it has some issue, uh, the, the Free Sync with the um, 120 Hertz and the Dolby Vision, but now it seems to be fixed. I did a couple of tests and everything run smoothly. Uh, really important also to update your firmware. Uh, just go your, in your setting, update your firmware to make sure that you have the latest one. They correct a lot of different stuff for the past four months. So super important to have that. And the last one is more like uh, the area Sorry, I have my camera in front of me. Fine tune dark area. This one is cool because uh, when I was playing on my C7, the LG C7, I was playing uh, The Last of Us 2 on my PS5 and I had like a big struggle to see in front of me because it was very dark and I don't know like where to go. So here you can adjust it depending on the game that you're playing. So a very cool feature that they add. And the last one is the menu color that you can change. Uh, when you first time you will up, uh, you will uh, open your game optimizer, they will ask for the low latency. Make sure that also your low latency here is at on. So this is pretty much it, guys, for the settings. That's uh, that's a pretty cool that you, because you have a lot of now option. You see like your free sync is activated. You see that your low latency is on. You can see now that you're running 120 Hertz. So you have like an FPS meter here. So a lot of like cool stuff that they add because me, my uh, um, my other TV was um, an LG C7 and you don't even know if you're like running 4K or uh, with the, the amount of Hertz that uh, are you at 60s or 120 when you're playing 1080p. So it was a bit of a mess, but now they fixed it with a nice game optimizer software. So that's about it, guys. If you have any question, just come in in YouTube section, post me your rigs, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.